channel. If this is your first time, welcome. My name is Gabrielle. I also go by Gaby. And here on the channel, we are Miss GCH. And I'm super excited that you're here today because I have a super big announcement. First of all, now I have a few announcements. Well, okay, can we start with a bad one? Don't judge my nails as you see them in this video. It's a quarantine, okay? And it's just, it's hard out here, okay? My, my uh, what's this called? An index finger and my thumbs. The gel I was able to successfully get off. These though, unsuccessful. I switched to gel right before the quarantine. I'm actually kind of glad I did because acrylic would probably be worse to grow out. But still, it's just a struggle, okay? So whatever you see in this video, don't mind it. Just Let's just ignore that. But the other um, exciting announcement before I tell you the big one is that we have officially hit 3,000 subscribers. Can I just say, this makes no sense to me. It doesn't make any sense. We just hit 1,000 last January? Yes, last January I hit 1,000. By July, we had 2,000. And now, by, what is this, April, we have 3,000. And I'm just super excited that so many of you all, 3,000, and, well, as of this morning, it's like 3,056 of y'all, have, like, found something super exciting about my channel that you wanted to stay tuned for. I'm just really humbled and super grateful because this really was just, like, a fun, creative outlet. At first, like, I needed something to do outside of school and like all the structured stuff and yeah I'm not even like 100% consistent on here <laughs> like I do my best but like for all the new people who don't know anything about me I am at the end of my PhD um, journey so I will be defending my dissertation hopefully by the end of the year and walking by next May so there's just a lot <laughs> that happens in my life and um yeah so i'm just grateful that even with what i've been able to put out you are really connected with people are always always in my dms and commenting and letting me know how my story and my testimony have impacted you all and that is nothing but god and then comes the major announcement that is probably gonna blow most of y'all socks off <laughs> and honestly you probably saw the title and we're super mad confused i know it's crazy but you saw correctly I am moving to Virginia Virginia you guys specifically northern Virginia um I let me explain this of how this even came about because no I never planned to move to Virginia no I never you know sat down and made that a life goal I have visited Virginia but I never once was like oh yeah I'm about to come live here so let me explain how it happened um most of you may remember I think I've explained it before that my PhD is four years of coursework and then the fifth year is a full-time internship and the internship is literally like our first year on the job working as a school psychologist we have to give it a whole bunch of hours so that we can graduate because our program is a licensure program so really all school psych programs are going to be licensure ones so you have to have that practice under your belt before you actually can be licensed so yeah so I had always planned to just do a Ohio internship I actually get to do that um, based on they have like an Ohio consortium where they'll just place us like Ohio State doesn't make us go out and interview for these or like we don't have to do anything fancy for them every year they just place whoever decides that they'll stay in Ohio they just place them in the internship program at a different district and um, so yeah that was my plan up until February I went to I believe I told you guys I went to the National Association of School Psychologists Conference in Baltimore Maryland and there I caught up with a um, super super dope guy in our field he's a black man and I've admired his work for a really long time and he was there at a round table situation and we were just supposed to be going around to different tables and hearing different talks and the topic of his table was um, the internship year so I was assuming to just sit down and hear like you know how to maximize internship and like what to look out for and like all this stuff and actually beforehand I was planning on leaving um, before I went to his table but my friend was like no like let's stay let's go to a few more tables so he just had an open seat we went 
and he started off the discussion about internship year talking about this amazing program that he is a part of that he's a supervisor for an internship program um, and they were still looking for students to fill I think two slots at the time he was saying that and I was like okay you know I, I never planned on even considering it but what he was describing just sounded so much more than what I was going to be able to get in the Ohio internship program and it was like it would be crazy of me to pass this up like it just seemed to not coincidence <laughs> that I ended up at his table and he decides to talk about this opportunity that I was even at the conference and yeah it just seemed like I got that feeling like I had um, when I made the decision to transfer to Ohio State the feeling I got when I made the decision to go to Indiana University the feeling I got when I applied for leadership post program with AKA like all these feelings when I went after AKA all these feelings um, that I, I recognized where the I feel like the, it's the spirit just pressing on my heart to be super interested in whatever this thing is and telling me like to leap and to go for it. And so I left there like, okay, I need to do this. So I talked to him and he was like, reach out, let me know, and I will send you all the application stuff. And the application was weighty, you guys. There were a lot of steps to the application I had to do a lot of things in a short amount of time so that I could still be competitive because I didn't know who else was going to be applying after the conference. And so I did it. I went to all my people. I got uh, three recommendation letters. I got all that stuff together and sent my packet over to them. They contacted me for an interview. I interviewed. I felt like I bombed the interview and I was feeling all types of way about the interview. It was literally the hardest interview I've ever done and was kind of just settled with like, okay, Lord, maybe it wasn't it. You just wanted to, you know, see me go after something and challenge myself and it's fine. Y'all, I got the word, um, I think like a week later that they had offered me the position that they were very impressed with my interview and I was just, I was shook. <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. And the fact that I was really considering going and living in a whole other state, it just was like, what the heck? But um, God made the way, you guys. There's actually somebody in the program right now that was um, at Loyola when I was at Loyola. I had no idea. I posted, once I got my official acceptance from the Human Resources Department, I posted it to Facebook, one, to like celebrate with all of my friends and family, but also like <laughs> for the plug on housing for people who lived in Virginia to see my friends had connections and a lot of them did reach out and so it was so exciting and apparently somebody had screenshot my status and sent it to her like hey I know you're like she's coming um you know do you remember her from when you're at Loyola so she reached out and it was just crazy it made no sense like Loyola's in Chicago for her to be in this internship program and us to reconnect it just was like okay lord like you've made the way you've already made the way i'm freaking out for nothing like this is all gonna work out i really feel like this is where i'm supposed to be so that is my condensed version i guess of the announcement but it's really happening i'm really moving to virginia the contract is a 12 month contract so i actually will be moving this summer i start in july and i'll end at the end of june next year so um yeah another adventure this is the fourth city that i've lived in during my collegiate years which is just kind of crazy to say out loud like what the heck um my fourth city i started off in bloomington indiana at indiana university for my undergrad degrees i lived in chicago illinois for my masters i've been here in columbus ohio for the last three years for the majority of my phd and I will be finishing up my um, internship in Virginia. So I guess this is also a, a plug for those who, who may live in Virginia or have family in Virginia, Northern Virginia, anybody that's trustworthy needs a roommate or uh, I don't know, if you have some, some help around that area, I would definitely appreciate you reaching out in my DMs. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is at miss underscore GCH. I would appreciate any information that you can give me or you can send me an email. My email is down in the um, description box. Yeah, any support you all can offer <laughs> with this move. Um, cost of living is definitely very interesting in Virginia. It is much more than what, much more. It's double what I pay here in Ohio, but I'm just trusting the Lord is gonna make a way, even in the midst of quarantine and like a lot of uncertainty about like how this is gonna really work out, how I'm gonna end up moving in the middle of a, lockdown I don't know I don't know but I really am at peace um I'm a little anxious about just like 
I wish I could just nail some stuff to the floor, but I'm not freaking out. Um, it's the end of April, so I have about a month and a half before it's like, okay, I really need to figure out where I'm going so I can figure out moving and packing up this place. Like, y'all, we are leaving this apartment. We're gonna have a new background for my videos. I'm kind of sad, I'm kind of sad. So um, maybe we'll do like something sentimental with this apartment before I leave, like a walkthrough and I don't know. I don't know, we'll figure it out. I would really appreciate you all's prayers and um, yeah, it just covered me during this transition. I am definitely keeping a lot of you in my prayers for all the things that are going on. A lot of people I know have been affected by Corona, have lost loved ones due to coronavirus. So I really hope that you are well, that you are safe. Um, if you are grieving, I'm praying that the Lord would just wrap his arms around you and walk with you during this time and that you will keep your eyes up and focused on him. Allow the grief, allow the sadness, y'all. I could do a whole video on that of how I have as a psychologist, soon to be PhD level psychologist, am still struggling with my mental health during this quarantine, okay? Still struggling, big time. My therapist has been getting an earful, for sure. So maybe I'll do a video on that. But um, yeah, I'm just really hoping that you all are well. I miss everything going on. And yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what the Lord is gonna do and how we'll have another testimony, another miracle coming out of this awesome situation of me you know having the opportunities to be in virginia so yeah family miss gch family we're moving to virginia oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh yeah so yeah that's that's the news i have for you if you want to see how this all unfolds make sure you stay tuned i have another video coming up where uh, me and babe sat down and talked about our one year anniversary and what we learned in the first year his amazing surprise that he pulled off mid quarantine for my first year all this in the next video okay so make sure you're subscribed make sure you turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss when i post that video and yeah i guess uh that's all i miss y'all i'm glad i finally got this video up and i hope to see you in the next one bye